In order to understand how does a computer really work, let us consider a computer system which is powered off. The computer which is powered off in reality is useless and it can do nothing unless the power is on. We need to appreciate that the electric power is the driving force behind the working of a computer. Where do you think your operating system, other softwares, photos and videos are stored when the computer is powered off? What do you think? You are correct if you think it is stored in the hard drive or hard disk. Just take a note that your hard disk or secondary memory is permanent in nature that is the contents stored in the hard disk remains intact even if power is off whereas primary memory like RAM is clean and has nothing stored during the power off mode. Now let us say that the computer's power is turned on. What is the sequence of activities that happens once the power is turned on? First of all, the power button activates power supply to all the hardware components of a computer. Then, in the next step, the operating system must be loaded into the primary memory RAM from the secondary memory hard disk. How does this happen? This is done taking help of BIOS, Basic Input Output System, which is a very small piece of instruction code contained on a chip on your system's motherboard. BIOS is the first software that runs. It is responsible for testing the computer hardware components, configuring it before loading the operating system. This is called a POST, Power On Self Test. On completion of the power test, BIOS runs the bootstrap loader which knows the storage location of the operating system in the hard disk. Now the bootstrap loader loads the operating system to the primary memory RAM and the control of the computer is then undertaken by the operating system. During this entire process, all instructions are executed by the CPU, Central Processing Unit. So now it is clear that data and instructions are fetched from the secondary storage device hard disks to the main memory RAM and to facilitate processing the data and instructions from the main memory is communicated to the CPU. Uh, hey Sunil, I was wondering why data and instructions are not fetched directly from the hard disk to the CPU. Things would have been simplified then. It's a great question dear. First of all, you need to understand that the CPU operates at high speed. It is super fast and the hard disk is quite slow. So if the CPU fetches data and instructions directly from the hard disk, there would be speed mismatch and the CPU may have to wait for a long time in order to get the data from the slow hard disk. CPU is one of the critical resources of a computer which cannot be kept waiting. In order to fix this, and to optimally utilize CPU time, primary memory like RAM is used which is relatively faster than the hard disk, but not as fast as the CPU. Therefore, data and instructions in CPU are fetched from the RAM and not from the hard disk directly. RAM in turn takes data and instruction from the hard disk. Hope I answered your question. Now it is my turn to ask you a question. Assume that you have got a computer system having a RAM of 8 GB and hard disk of 500 GB. Do not worry about this GB, it stands for gigabytes. It is the unit of storage. We shall talk about bits and bytes in subsequent lectures. Let us say you are interested in running the most popular computer game of the current time, that's PUBG. To install PUBG, let's say you need at least 30 GB of free storage space. We also are aware that to run a computer program, it must be kept in the RAM from the hard disk. Now, how do you think 30 GB of PUBG will be accommodated in a RAM having 8 GB space? That's my question. Think for a while. The RAM is already occupied by the operating system. So from 8 GB, some space is occupied by the OS. Some additional space may be occupied by other softwares like VLC player, web browser and so on. 
Now you are left with RAM of size less than 8 GB, isn't it? It is not at all possible to place 30 GB of PUBG to 8 GB RAM. What you need to understand here is that not the entire 30 GB of PUBG program is required at once for processing. The portion that is required right now is fetched to the RAM from the hard disk. Rest of the program is still there on the hard disk. Swapping is the process the operating system uses to move data between RAM and hard disk. The OS moves the portion of the program that is not immediately needed out of the RAM and stores them in the hard disk. It copies the data back into RAM when the program is needed again. I hope you understand this concept. That's all in this video. Stay tuned.